Hey, how's it going, guys? Dave from Revocation here at Guitar World. Uh, I want to pick up where we left off last time with talking about uh, using sweeping and tapping uh, to create some licks. Uh, but this time, I'm going to show you some different shapes uh, to use this idea with. So last time, I talked about using a two-note per string, one-note per string pattern. This time, it's going to be all two-note per string. So instead of going across in more of a traditional sweep kind of way, this one is going to be more extended across the fretboard. I'm using also a different um, chord shape this time. Now it's going to be G major 7 instead of using a minor 7. So basically I'm going just up a G major 7 arpeggio, my 7th root, 3rd, 5th, and just taking that across three octaves. Now where the tap comes into play is I'm going to be tapping on the seventh note of the arpeggio, pulling off, coming back down, and then traveling back up the arpeggio. So here's how the whole thing looks at tempo. So breaking that down, then I repeat that same phrase up an octave. Then I repeat that phrase up an octave again. So it's downstroke, hammer on, downstroke, hammer on, tap, pull off, pull off, downstroke, pull off, hammer on, downstroke, hammer on, and then it's the same pattern. And then you can finish it off with a tap on the 14th fret, which would be the major 7. of that G chord. Um, it's actually really easy to come up with some different uh, chord sounds just by changing what the left hand is doing. So instead of going up a G major 7, if I flap this 5, now I have more of like a Lydian sound. So I'm going to have... So I'm still tapping the 7th here, but what my left hand is playing is that augmented 4th instead of the perfect 5th, which again gives you more of like a G Lydian sound. So now if I were to take this five and make it a sharp five, I would now have a G major seven sharp five arpeggio, which is basically you could think of like a B major triad over G. Which is essentially coming from the fifth mode of C Hungarian minor. So this arpeggio now is a sharp five, but I'm still tapping in the same, you know, on the same note here. So I'll play that again for you. So it just gives you a little bit of a, uh, you know, more exotic sound now, um, but still, still major seven, but that's sharp five. Just makes it more uh, exotic sounding. You could take this lick and instead of going across three different octaves, you could just do it on the top two strings and go back and forth between these different sounds. So essentially you could have like G major, G Lydian, the augmented fourth, back to G major, and then G major sharp five. So I'm starting with this G major seven arpeggio, just straight up, starting on the, the seventh. Then I'm going to the augmented fourth, now I'm giving you more of a Lydian sound. Then I'm going back to the major seven, and then sharp five, giving you that major seven sharp five sound. So. so you can apply this technique uh, you know, to any chord shape or, or arpeggio shape 
that you want. Um, so if we try one more, let's say, and do uh, more of like an A mixolydian sound, I can take this shape here where the, I'm using the flat seven, the root, the major third, and the fourth, giving you kind of like a sus four sound, and then tap on the flat seven, uh, that would give me this lick. And if I wanted to, I could move the tap around now instead of changing what the left hand is doing. There I'm tapping the flat seven and then going up to the root. So depending on what you're changing, whether it's the left hand or the right hand, you can get a whole bunch of different uh, sounds happening.